So the new sustainable development goals are a great opportunity because what they do is integrate climate and natural resource issues throughout um, with the standalone climate goal, but also very successfully embedded through to energy, cities, infrastructure. And what that does is it will help do two things. First of all, it will help manage the risks for poor people and their vulnerability. And then secondly, it will present some great opportunities for poor communities to leapfrog in terms of technology. So leaping to a lower carbon future, helping connect the, all the millions of people who are on, at the moment unconnected to the grid to give them energy access to transform their lives. So there will be a number of challenges. There will be uh, people that will see a benefit in having a separate climate finance additionality question, which we'll go through this year. Um, there will be people who want to see climate and environment issues separate still from development and want to see it as additional. I think the second thing will be people will emphasise trade-offs. They will suggest that somehow a better economic growth is in a higher carbon way and that's the most important thing that must come first. Again, I don't think the evidence suggests that is the case. The new climate economy is very clear that that doesn't need to be the case. It's not all about trade-offs. There's some very clear kind of lots of co-benefits and lots of kind of win-wins. Um, and I just think also there's something about getting mobilised around it quickly. It took quite a while for us to get mobilised around the MDGs. I think now the imperative is we just need to mobilise behind the SDGs quickly um, and effectively and, and start working together in a complementary and integrated way. I think uh, internationally what we're doing is we're seeing a series of events this year, so financing for development in Addis. In July, we're seeing the SDGs, we're seeing the COP in Paris, and then we're seeing the WTO Trade Ministerial, all as an interconnected set of events, important in their own right, but also important in setting a new trajectory and a new sustainable development kind of paradigm out there. And so what we're doing is we're working very hard politically to negotiate that at an international level. But we're also trying to put it into practice in the way that we are doing our business. So the way that we're using our climate finance, for example, in an integrated way to mainstream climate and environment issues throughout our business, and the way in which we're thinking about low carbon futures and building resilience of communities so that they can withstand shocks and they can withstand kind of weather extreme. So we're basically embedding it in our business, and we're doing that, supporting that with a better use of our climate finance in a mainstream way across our business.